<laughs> Good morning. Just finishing up my treadmill time and some podcast uh, mind um, feeding. Wanted to talk to you today uh, again about your debt and things you might be feeling about debt. Maybe you don't have debt. Maybe you sat down one day, put it all on a piece of paper and looked at it, had a relationship with it, and actually got out of debt by paying down and being good about following your plan. That required you also to say no to some things so that you could make that plan happen. So decided what you want. What do I want? I want to be out of debt. Took action. You made a plan by putting it down, writing it down, having a relationship with you, and then acting on that plan by paying it down a little bit at a time. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should stop spending and stop doing some of the things that you love to do because it's what you want to do. It's what feeds your spirit. I think that um, rather than shrinking and spending less and making a budget, the idea that I got from the book we should all be millionaires, Rachel Rogers, is to have a bigger life by figuring out, spending time, what you want, and then figuring out how can I make more money to make that happen. So let's say that I like going to uh, the gym and I don't have the extra monthly income to pay for that gym membership. Well, and it might be $1,000 a year or $1,500 a year. And so I need to figure out how can I make that extra money to pay for that. So I might have a job that pays me weekly, but maybe I'm really good at uh, editing uh, words and I might proofread somebody's uh, you know thesis or something for them and get on Fiverr or Task. I love putting Ikea furniture together, get on TaskRabbit and making that your side hustle and making that extra money to do that. So think about ways how you can make more money, not how you can save more money. It's, it makes for a more interesting life and allows you to get to the things that you want to do. I also encourage you to actually sit down and look at your money, have that relationship. No, not just what's coming in and going out, but how a plan on how you are going to do the things, the added um, uh, monetary things in your life by just doing the math. How much more per month do I need to, in my income to do these extra fun things like family vacations and that sort of thing? There's a way to have it all, uh, all the things that you want, you just have to put some action behind it. Move your feet if you're praying. That's what <laughs> what I've heard. So look at your money. Figure out what you want. Get a plan. Don't shrink. Expand. Have a bigger life. We'll see you next time.